actually, one thing I'll do before I do that is now now that we have enough money, we can actually go and buy the sixth ad adventure pouch, and that's going to be helpful because the more items you can hold, the better. Um, where's Beetle? Where is he? Beetle! Come down here, you wonder why you get no customers, because you I can never find you. I'm pretty sure Link is this guy's only customer, to be honest. Which, I'm, I guess Link is the only guy with the slingshot, he said that. Seriously, where is he? He disappeared. Lame. Um, okay, I ran out of stamina looking for him, that's cool. Actually, I think he might be on the map. Yeah, he's on the exact opposite side from me. That's cool. Um, where, where is he? You can see him on the map. Indicate by the little beetle icon. Do I just like run underneath him and just not even notice? Um, okay, there he is. So let's shoot the bell again. And now we can go up there and get the, um, what's it called? Get the other adventure pouch. Um, okay. It wasn't even letting me grab it for a while. Also, if you press let go here, yes, you will just fall down and have to shoot the bell again. So, just letting you know about that. So let's come in here and we can go and buy our adventure power. Oh, there's also another wallet for sale. I guess I can grab that later. Anyways, it'll increase the number of items. I think this is, um, what was this, 300 rupees? All right, I'll take it. Why not? I guess I can get the, if I have enough money after these side quests, I'll come back for the extra wallet as well. Because, like I said, I'm going to try and basically get everything as early as possible. I mean, I'm not going to be, like, grinding for money so I can, like, buy all of these things, like, immediately. But, I mean, if I have the money and I'm around, then I'll be sure to do it. So, anyways, I guess I'll show you how to, um, change from day to night. So, first thing we have to do is we have to go find some sort of, like, sleeping area. Just find, like, a bed. Um, I'm just going to go to Link's room. You can basically, you can actually use anybody's room, which is sort of weird because... I, I guess in this society, it's just okay to sleep in other people's beds without their permission, which is sort of weird, but you know what? I, I don't judge. Anyway, Link's room is somewhere around here. Uh, those are those two weird people who grew slikes. Floods, that's like the guy who gave us the adventure pouch. Oh, here we are. Here's my room. So come on in here. Just go over to the bed, and you can basically select how long you want to sleep. And if you select until night, it will basically change it to night. And also, this is a easy way to um, refill all of your hearts. I think I already had full hearts, but whatever. Anyways, now it is nighttime, so that's cool. And now we can go walk around. We actually cannot um, fly during the night, you can, so you can only walk around Skyloft. And there are a few, there are two other islands that you can go to at night, but you have to um, basically either sleep, th but you have to like find a bed that's there. So you're actually required to... Um, not always sleep in Link's bed, which is sort of weird, but once again, I do not judge other cultures because that's just kind of rude, to be honest. And now it's night time. It's, it's been night before, if you remember, when we were following Fee, but now it is just sort of standard night time. We don't get the Fee theme music, but the evil cats are still around, so that's cool. Statue of the Goddess. Thanks, sign. Okay, we got these guys. Um, want to just sort of die? Apparently not. These guys are so annoying because you sort of have to hit them like in the mouth, but um, no big deal. Anyway, if you remember what that old man said, he said to um, well he said that he had cat like cat like reflexes, which isn't really important. Okay, this guy you can actually just slice this person and they'll run away for a little bit. I mean, I know that that's animal abuse, but you know what? I I'm gonna claim self-defense. Anyways, you can come in here. Um, got this guy. Um, you don't get to learn my secret. Get out of here. And as he said, strike the thing closest to the oak tree, or the just tree, shoot that, and now, as you can see, this thing just lit up. Now come over here and push it. And that opens up this little area. So that's pretty spooky and everything. So guys, are you brave enough to come down here? I don't think you guys are. But you know what Link is, so we're cool. I'm going to do this the cool way. Yeah, that's the way that I come down ladders. I don't know. I don't know what you do. I don't climb the actual one. Anyway, you can walk around this. And uh, well, doesn't this look foreboding? I mean, I've seen a lot of horror movies in my day, and I really don't think that I should be coming in here. So apparently Zelda's aura is somewhere over there. That's just pointing to the other, the hole that we made in the surface. But um, you guys ready? Oh, I'm terrified now. Eek! All right, let's do this. 
time to go ghost busting, monster busting, whatever that guy said. And Link just sort of walks in uninvited. And this is just pretty awesome, to be honest. I actually really like this character. Who are you? Looks like, looks like Gandorf's brother or something. No, honestly, I'd be pretty terrified this was like real life. But honestly, I think Link is just sort of... And you know what? Time to use some Skyward Strike. You must die! <laughs> Don't hurt me! Well, okay. I know how bad this must look to you right now, but I sure you mean no harm. Just playing the scream as loud as you can game. That Personally, I think that's a pretty big red flag, to be honest, in a relationship. But, um... You know what? Wh whatever. So this guy's name is Batrix, and he basically, um... As I said, will basically initiate the major um, cuts um, side quest in the game. Please allow me to correct one popular misconception. I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of this town. Okay, adorable little girl is the only one who didn't lose a blood curling stream at the sight of me. Well, I mean, LinkedIn either. He just sort of tried to kill you, but I mean, honestly, uh, so you're nowhere near as creepy as Gear him is. So there's that. And surely, I imagine it's proven quite difficult to break the ice when the are struck with paralyzed in the mere fear of me. Honestly, I wasn't even scared. I mean, technically I would have been scared, but Link just has nerves of steel. Nothing even, like, phases him. You could shoot him in the face and he'd just be like, you know what, that's okay. So anyways, he's going to tell you something about Gratitude Crystal somewhere in here. And basically, here's the way that pretty much all the side quests work. You do something to help somebody and it'll make them produce gratitude crystals and you bring the gratitude crystals to this guy and he gives you really good rewards and that's basically how all of the um, side quests in this game go and there are a lot of ways to get gratitude crystals some of them are longer than others like some of them are actually pretty big side quests gentle and generous heart I guess I'll say that there are 80 gratitude crystals together and you get rewards I think after like every 10 that you bring him and this is where you get you get a lot of good stuff this is how you get wallet upgrade you get like a piece of heart somewhere in here I think you get like a bunch of good rupees like I think uh, multiple gold rupees and anyways Shimmer's heart is pure generalized you guys will be able to see them and also there are some gratitude crystals that just sort of like all around and I'll I'll be getting all of the ones that are just out in the open all at once once I once they're all available and then he said we'll go unreward. Also, here's the little girl from before. She seems pretty happy, to be honest. Hi. Hi, he's not a bad man. He saved me. The one I almost fell off the edge. And he lets me come here and scream as loud as I want. That was actually pretty cool. So, just dangerous to go. So, I'll just hang on in the morning. Tell my mom I'll come home in the morning. So, that's pretty cool. Honestly, that's actually pretty cool if you just got to go to some guy's house who just let you scream as loud as you want. So, this guy's pretty nice, to be honest. It'd be cool to have, like, a friend like that. You know, pretty cool. Anyways, I'm gonna go and change the. Di I'm gonna go change the um day. I'm gonna change it back today, and then we're gonna go check out that little girl's house and see if her mother is happy that she came. Cool. Yeah. All right, guys. It is day. We are back, and we are going to come and see how that mother is going. Not that her child is back. I believe that this is their house, right? I doesn't it, like say. Okay, I'm. I'm pretty sure this is right. This might be wrong, and then I'll have to go and search for it, but I believe I am right. And let's find out. Yep, here we go. Now this person is all happy that her child is back. He, he is safe at home. I mean, it's not really because of me, but um, you know what? I will take credit for stuff that I didn't do. And anyway, there you go. These are our first gratitude crystals. As I said, um, you basically get them in groups of five, and um, I'm not totally sure if there are actually any other gratitude crystals that we can get right now if there are any other side quests I can't think of any um off the top of my head I mean I can I can get a bunch of like free floating ones but I as I said I don't want to do that I want to get like all of those ones. I think if there are 15 there are, I think there are 15 gratitude crystals that are just like found all around that aren't as the result of, of a side quest and I'll be getting all of those like once I can get all of them and I think that it'll work well like that Actually, I think I think I can do something with this guy oh yeah here we go I wonder where she's gone. Yeah, okay, so I actually can get five more right now by talking to this guy. And he'll basically say something. I'm worried. What's wrong? Um, I'm worried that um, I don't have more than one expression. I don't think that Botox worked really well. 
I'm not really sure what I was going for here. Anyway, his sister went flying and she didn't come back. It's getting late for her to still be out. I went looking for her everywhere. Everywhere, I really will. I don't think they really tried very hard. But, um, alright, I'll go and look for her. Said she was curious about that colorful island. Okay, the colorful island is something that I am dreading immensely when I have to do that. If you guys have played this game, you probably know as well. Also, I guess I should remove the dowser. I can't do that right here because I'm not on the skies map. But this is, I guess, one more thing that I can actually do right now. I think I actually get also get a bottle for doing this. So that's pretty awesome. First thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove this. And um, the colorful island is somewhere over here. I'm not totally sure. I think it's like that island way out there. I don't totally remember which um, island the sister's on, but it's somewhere in this general direction. Um, let's see if we can find it. So I, I guess this might be another um, somewhat long part, but as I said, I, I, mean, I just like to get like groups of stuff done, you know? I mean, I've been pretty productive, I'd say. I've got a lot of stuff done. I think at this flat island right here is what the, um, is where the little sister is, but I could be wrong. Let's go and find out. Uh, yeah, there we go. We are on the right place. So now we have to come over here. We have to talk to this person. And here's the sister. Well, if it isn't Link. So glad you're here. Bird got injured. Oh, I bet. So I managed to make a crash landing here. Now we can't get home. Can't go home to my birds better. I need medicine. He can't be human medicine. Well, I figured that, to be honest. I'll, I'll, go get, I'll get you a um, polio vaccine. We actually talked about that in bio class about these like two guys who like independently made a polio vaccine and then this one guy had to go to like the Soviet Union to get it well known or something anyways yeah 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 I'd, I'm gonna go talk to the brother I'll be back because yeah alright and we're back talking to this guy yes I found your sister in 20 seconds this guy didn't look everywhere this guy he probably didn't look at he probably never even moved from this spot to be honest he probably just like looked left looked to the right eh, she's nowhere to be found Got him some mushroom spores, so that's pretty cool, right? Uh, anyways, I will go back to the sister, and you can keep the empty bottle. Oh, I forgot, you actually get an empty bottle from doing this. That's cool. I'm not totally sure, is this like a good way to do like editing? Because the way that I see, I'm gonna like cut out stuff that I've already shown how to do. Like, I've shown where you're supposed to go, so now I'll just show myself being there. Like, I showed how to make a day versus make a night. From now on, I'm just gonna cut out myself doing that. I think that that's a good way of, um, like, cutting out stuff. Anyways, yeah. And we are back with the sister. Yeah, any, have anything to do? Mushroom spores, yep. Take it. I mean, I'm not gonna be eating those. You can actually get these things from some of the mushrooms in, um, um, Farron. I think I already mentioned that. Now my poor little bird should be healthy again in no time. I'll take your word for it. That bird is pretty cool looking. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Anyways, beginning to think we are doomed. You've saved my life and my birds. Both of you, big thanks. And there we go. More gratitude crystals. We're already at ten, and I think I actually get five more if I talk to the big brother over there. And yep, helping people does feel good. Makes me feel very happy inside. I mean, Link. Link is just so nice. And he likes material wealth. But, I mean, he does both. So, you know what? I think it's a fair balance. And, um, so yeah. So now I'll go meet you back with the brother for the however many a time. Like I said, some of these quests for gratitude crystals are actually sort of extensive. I mean, this one wasn't bad, but, um, well, there are ones later on that are longer. And back with the brother for the, like, third or fourth time. Thank goodness I was so worried about here. I bet. Thanks so much for your health. And there we go, more gratitude crystals. We got 15 in the span of like five minutes. And must have taken a lot of gratitude to make this bunch of five crystals helping people feels good. Great, so we're already at 15. But so only one thing left to do in terms of side quests, and that's let's go see um, Batriax or Batriax or however you pronounce it. Batro, I think that's how you pronounce it, like E A U X. I'm gonna say Batriax because you know that's how I said it when I first played it, and I am a person who likes keeping things traditional or likes referencing things that they did when they were younger or whatever. I don't even know what I'm going for. So anyway, let's turn around and fail trying to do the swag backflip. Okay, just sort of fell off right there. 
Okay, whatever. I think I get like a piece of heart doing this anyways. So anyways, now that we've got 15 gratitude crystals, I think that we're going to get the um, 10 gratitude crystal reward already. And I'm sure he'll be surprised that I did this stuff so fast, but um, probably not. Oh, you've got quite a lot of gratitude crystals. Oh, I bet. Please take this as a token of my demon defense appreciation. And okay, guess, guess we got the wallet. So as I said, um, this is how you get all of the wallet upgrades. Now we can do 500 rupees. Still gonna need more gratitude crystals. Oh, I bet. Please, won't you aid a poor unfortunate demon in need? Um. Okay. Wait. What? I, I get another reward? Oh, I think they. I think you actually get a reward for five, and then one for ten, or something. And okay, so I do get a piece of heart. All right. Um. Whatever. I guess that heals the one heart of damage that I lost. Okay. So I actually, yeah. Could you get five? Because you get an easy five gratitude crystals just from um going to talk to that um to the little girl's mother. And I guess those are like the training gratitude. I don't know. Is like training the right word? Like when I say like training, I mean like the one that's sort of like obvious that like sort of sets the scene for the others. Like I said, the training goddess cube is like the one that's in clear sight. The training bird statue in clear sight. The training gratitude crystal is the one that occur as soon as you um basically uh, um basically unlock them. So anyways, so like as I was saying, like in terms of the sky, there are a ton of, of things to do. Like if you're just playing this 100% or don't any percent, don't really care, this episode would have literally have been me going to the statue, putting in the tablet, and leaving. But since I'm actually doing all the side quests, I'm actually doing so many things. I mean, look what we got. We got one B item. We got a new bottle. We got two new pouches. We got... Three pieces of heart, wa a, new a wallet upgrade, a extra wallet, and 15 gratitude crystals. So honestly, basically I'm just saying it's like, you basically get out of this game what you put into it. I mean, I'm sure that most people agree with me that this game is good and stuff. I don't know, I just see like a lot of comments saying stuff like, like criticism. They're just things like the sky is so empty and stuff. And it's just not true because there's so much to do like I mean we haven't even scratched the surface there are so many side quests left I've still got 24 goddess cubes to find a lot of the goddess cubes actually have like, a lot of the goddess cube chests actually have like a puzzle to even reach the queue to even reach the chest they're not just like there just on the island but anyways yeah that's gonna be it for today we did I I'm think we did everything that we can do in the sky as of this point. I mean, if I grinded for rupees, I could buy some more stuff from Beetle, but honestly, who really cares? Anyways, yeah, I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, and take care.